I don't know about you guys, but I'm in the mood for hunting some monsters. Welcome to Wild Hearts, a monster hunter game, actually very similar to Monster Hunter, but uh, with uh, some twists and improvements, apparently. So let's uh, let's hop right into it. This is the start of the game. Jumps you right into here and tells you to follow this creature. So let's uh, let's follow this creature and see. What this game has to offer I, I i don't know i've never really played the monster hunter game before so let's see what happens what is this like a dead beast over here Ooh. okay let's keep following let's see what happens the graphics is uh it could be better honestly for a ps5 game but it, it the, the gameplay seems pretty smooth so far so let's see it is definitely uh environment that's beautiful. Oh, we got some draw the sword with square, okay. Alright, let's get right into it. Down slash with square and uh single handed launch, okay. Nice. So we got a few a few options. Three options actually. I'll uh, R1 to hold and uh, X to climb. Okay. Is there anything that we can collect here or? No, nothing to collect. Okay, let's just uh, keep going. Keep following the kimono. Okay, let's. Uh, where did he go? Where did he go? This way? Alright, yeah, here he is. Keep following him. Up this way. Where is he taking us? I wonder where he's taking us. I mean, the environment looks beautiful, honestly. I like all the, you know, the light, the sun. Crouch into the um, undergrowth and approach kimono unseen. Alright, cool. So there's some stealth aspects as well. Approach it unseen. What do we do? Slay or pet? Um, let's pet. Who's a good boy? Alright, so collect. We've collected, uh... I, I couldn't even read it, it went too fast, but... Let's see here. There was no cutscenes at the start or anything. Looks like we're bu building a camp. Making some food. Alright. Yeah, the graphics you guys could see, like this is on PS5. You know, it, it could be, it could be better, but I mean, this is—it's an action game, so it's uh, as long as the action works well, we should be fine. All right, where are we going? This way? Anything around? We could go. Can we go up this way? Nothing this way, alright. Find the source of the music. Alright. Alright, looks like we're going heading into here. Find the source of the music. Search. With L2. Let's see. Is the music coming from these? These butterflies? Oh, that's like a, a person. Looks like the plants and stuff grow, growing around it, maybe? Okay. No, I can still hear the music in the background. Interesting, okay. Find the source of the music. So we keep going this way. There's nothing on. Just checking all the angles, you know what I mean? So we don't miss anything. Alright, it looks like this way. Did we just go back to where we came from? Or is this something? Oh, it looks like a person there playing the music, right? Yeah. 
talk. You come from afar, do you not? <laughs> Perhaps fate has had a hand in our paths crossing here. Let us talk a while. Let us talk a while, why not? So, a visitor in the land of the East. You do realize asthma is fraught with danger. Mountains and rivers, the source of their great power. Land shaped to their will. Yes, I speak of Kemono. Ramparts in these parts. Few humans remain. Just Driven beasts. from what is now Kimono territory for lack of sustenance. <laughs> Listen to me preaching to Buddha. For one look at you speaks volumes. The gauntlets that back your hands, the blade at your side. You are no stranger to Kimono. You derive from an ancient clan, one that made Kimono its business. You are a hunter, huh? Mm, yep, yes we are, that's right. Oh, should you, does, does the selection actually matters? I'm not sure, I'm just gonna go with the... Yes, the epitome of the hunter creed you are. And what am I, you ask? Aha. Simple musician of He has us. a tail. My name is Musina. Musina. Shall we say? Uh what were you just playing? You're no ordinary musician. Why the mask? Uh honestly it doesn't matter. Why this? the mask? This is my visage. Underneath. There is nothing, and everything, <laughs> not a sight for the faint-hearted. Still, <laughs> we are here to talk not of me, but of you. I wish to know every detail. From whence did you arrive in this land? From where? Okay, from the western capital, from the northern provinces. I mean, do these answers really matter? Across the sea from the south, from the continent by Kamino Trail, from the western capitals, sure. Life in the capital is hard for a hunter, hmm? The samurai make war there, I hear. So I think this is set Sadly, in Japan. The days of hunters being revered in Hinomoto are long gone. To the west, samurai battle not kimono, but each other. Hunters facing hunger these days are many. Some have turned their hands to farming, others to thieving. It was getting hard to earn a living where I'm from. There's no place for me in the samurai world. War, war call, calls for soldiers, not hunters. Um, I I was always a drifter. Okay. Uh. Mm, sure, wall cost for soldiers, not hunters, but I feel like we're, we could be a soldier. Um, sure. Ah, yes. War. For power and influence, they maim and kill. They burn the very land they have a duty to protect. Even Kemonos and their war ravaged barons. Not a bloom remains. So you leave your home and travel to Azma by yourself, yet pursue a life as a hunter still. Why? What compels you to hunt? Hmm. I don't want Kemono driving humans out. Uh, there's no more. There's no. M there's money in rare kimono. I'm always looking for a stronger kimono. Uh, the desire to answer that question for myself. I, I really is this setting like our 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 background like this? Do these 
Um, will these have like an effect on the story or on the campaign? I'm not 100% sure, honestly. Um, sure, I don't want them to... Indeed. ...drive humans Many out. Many see Kimono as a threat. So Kimono is like Nature the monsters, basically? Most fierce. So you strive to protect? A motive shared by the hunters of all. And the reason behind much of what they developed. Ha! Forgive me. With age, a curious compulsion to counsel comes. Well, it is clear to me now. You have a strong will. And where there is a will, there is, is a, way. a way. Yep. Your goals may yet change. Recall. As you journey on, a hunter yields not. Yes, Asma may well be the place for you. So Asma is anyway, like the the location. This thing, the commerce, your Nabipot has had ample time to stew. I will disturb you no more. You have a hunger to satisfy. Remove the hat. Okay. Oh, it looks like this is the player creation, I think. Remove the hat and then we select what we look like, maybe. Yep, it is. Alright, so... You just get to pick from wherever. Uh, I'm just gonna go with the first one here. Oh wow, okay, so you actually, there's um, there's an extensive, uh, kind of just want to change the hair to be honest, uh, let's see here, R1 hair, hairstyle, okay, this is kind of cool, this is kind of cool, let's go for something, I'm not sure if you can change this stuff later, um, something for like a hunter, think I see hairstyle after this what's the hairstyle okay um, go for something like that maybe interesting okay yeah I'm gonna go oh, <laughs> look at this one man that's jokes Oh, this one's kind of cool too. I like that. The dreads. Hmm. There's a, a big selection here. Afro. You know what? I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one here. Oh, did I just change it right now? Oh, length? What? I just changed it. You can uh, decrease the length here. Nope. Okay. Beard? You can have a, a beard as well. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. All right, we'll go with this one. Makeup, body. Uh, maybe be a little bit tall. I'm not sure if the height actually matters. I'm just going to go tallest. Uh, muscular. Fullness, why not? I'm not sure if this is going to affect like our change the the way you run is this All right. Muscular guy. Good for hunting, I guess. 
All right, details, uh, voice, garments, okay, uh, hmm, sure, we'll go with this one, or this is going to be the under, underneath, right? Under, like, under our clothing, or I'm not sure. Yeah, let's, let's go for this, I guess. Or the first one. Kind of want to go with this one, to be honest. Kind of show off the muscle and stuff. Okay, we'll go with this one for personality. Ready for hunting, you know what I mean? Voice. That was great. It's complete. Too slow. Let's use this. It's complete. Yep, I all like in that. Place. Was that all? That's all. Confirm. No, what did I finish? There we go. All right. Name, I'm not sure. Honestly, let's just do Hunter. Keep it simple. Keep it. He. Okay. There we go. Tell me. What's that on our head? Destination in mind, or might I offer a suggestion? East of the sacred mountain here, beyond the old blossom trail known as the Harugasumi Way, lies Minato, a small town Minato. where the few hunters that remain in Hinomoto gather with its inhabitants. Okay. You may perhaps share. At least he gave us a destination. I was going to say this guy didn't help at all, but... He gave us a destination to go. What's happening here? Oh, that's... I think that's where we tried to climb and we couldn't. Ah. Oh, it draws near. You recognize the signs, of course. The land consumed by the territorial craving of the kimono. Before long, you will be trapped. A lone hunter, frozen solid in a natural ice house. Uh -huh. Spoken like a true hunter. Do you feel it? The quarry is close. This will be the measure of your metal. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You got some monsters coming. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get some action going in here. All right, here we go. Woo! Come on, one more, or is that it? Finish this one. Come on, get this guy. Is there... Is there no lock-on? kind of want to lock-on to the enemy, you know what I mean? Come on, man. On hunter into the snow storm. The gameplay feels pretty good, honestly. Alright. Are we gonna go up this way or what's the deal here? Hunt the coming responsible for the snowstorm. I'm guessing we're going this way. Yep. Into a snowy area, or no? 
All right, we got some more. Is it? Are these enemies? I don't think they're attacking us, these ones. I'm hunting everything I see. What's up? What's up? So you guys can see the monsters are like... These ones are not really giving us anything. Um, the monsters are, are like a blend of nature. Like you can see like plants are growing on them and stuff. Between nature and um, like the monsters. Like being huge and, and monster-like. I guess is the word I'm looking for and um, with nature so we'll see a lot of uh, a blend between nature and uh, and the monsters which is interesting all right never really seen that in a game maybe honestly maybe uh, horizon had something similar with the machines, but they're machines and they're not really... Oh, we have a stem of our... Hold, grab. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got something big coming. We got something big coming. This guy is responsible for the snowstorm? What's up, buddy? Scary looking. But that's what we're here for, but Ooh. Let's get it going. Gotta dodge, huh? Ooh, okay, okay. Okay. First test. Ooh. I would really like to... Okay, I, I'm locked on now. Where's our health, by the way? I don't see our health. I don't see the, the health of, of, the, of the monster either. Can we... Come on. Yeah, where's the... I don't see its health. Come on. Woo! Okay. I'm guessing this is part of like the... Like the beginning, so there's no health so far. Part of the start of the, of the game. Like this is supposed to happen. Interesting just left us okay why do I feel like something bigger is coming that's why he left us he got scared of something bigger no I thought there was something bigger behind us honestly oh now we're hurting oh you're there there might be something bigger Oh my god, that is, that is a monster. It's like the whole thing moving. Yup. Yup, that is a monster. Look how small we are at the bottom there. All come to wild hearts. Man, I'm really interested in this game. I'm really excited. Hope you guys are. It's gonna be great. Got like some ladders at the bottom. Oh, hanging from from that monster ladders in the uh, the back of it. It's like a whole island moving, and I think that's a theme that's going to be reoccurring throughout the game. This different monsters with like 
earth, you know, plants growing out of it and that sort of thing. Still. Oh, this guy again. Yet the threat of a hope remains, perhaps. Let it weave this seed into your soul. Let the spirits in the Karakuri join your own. Let them drive you to hunt. For that is your destiny. Find Minato. Find the home of the hunters. Find Minato of the city. Will your journey truly right. begin? Sounds good. So we gotta find that city where all the hunters are. That's where the journey begins. Let's do it. I don't like how our character is just not speaking. Hopefully we selected the voice. But hopefully we are going to talk eventually. All right, it's pretty cool so far. All right, head to Minato. Collect healing water. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, you can use healing water to recover health. Oh, nice. Okay, just up arrow. Details. Okay, use the up to recover health by drinking healing water. It's a special kind of water that you can collect on the hunt or draw in greater quantities from the ground around ancient trees. All right. Cool. So we have one out of ten there. If we need to heal. Going up. Yeah, this is the, the thing that's different from Monster Hunter, is you can basically build. So, if you press R, L1 here, and it's square, you can put like a box that you can jump on. That's pretty cool, which you can use that in like the fights and stuff. You can put boxes and different things, I'm sure, once we... Two boxes, okay. Still need one more, I think. Or is that enough? You've awakened the ability to conjure Karaki. Okay. Oh, it, it like bumps you up. That's cool. Nice, okay. So again, we can use that in the fights. Collect Karaki threads to conjure a crate. Alright. L2 to look for a thread using Hunter Vision. Alright, Hunter Vision. So, this right here? Okay, we've collected... Conjure a crate. Okay, we gotta go all the way up there. We gotta do that again. So, two of them? Or three of them? Alright, three. Nice! Not sure. Can we collect this stuff or no? No. All right, let's uh, keep on going. Okay, we gotta do it again. Make some more boxes. It's not letting me to put bo boxes here. Hmm. 
Oh, it is. All right, three boxes. That should allow us. There we go. Oh, you can also use crates to attack. Okay. So there we go. We're going to press after leaping over the crate. Oh, there we go. Nice. I think I put it uh, too far. Too far up, maybe. Yeah, put it too far, but I got the idea. Ooh. Man, the triangle, the triangle attack is like an area attack all around you. I like it. Alright, let's collect what we need and let's keep going to the city. Okay, so this can guide us to on the way that we're going. Mine. Nice. It guides you and it tells you it tells you um So that's three right there. Okay. Nice, okay. Can we grab this? Why do I feel like we can grab this? Never mind. Oh, there's a person here. Investigate the stranger on the ground. You okay? Set up a camp and nurse the injured stranger back to health. Conjure a campfire, hunter's tent, and draw some healing water. Okay, so we can build a camp? Oh, nice. So we can build a camp and a tent. So we need to do a campfire. Uh, Dragon Man isn't powerful. Unlock dragon pits so you can conjure a camping fire. How do you unlock a dragon pit? Collect. Oh. Alright, well, full on water there. Yep. Uh, giant tree trunk. You can now conjure, okay, more dragon kiriaki here. By unlocking dragon pits, you can increase the capacity of the dragon pit in the surrounding area. Okay. So I think that allows us to uh, build, right? Campfire. There we go. And then we also need a tent, which is right here. Nice. Travel point, a giant tree trunk camp unlocked. Okay, so this kind of provides us with um, a travel point. Warm yourself. Do we need, we need to, yeah, look after her. Oh, oh, what is that? Some rat with flowers on it. Hunt the kimono to protect the camp. All right, so we gotta, we gotta go to work on you. We gotta go to work.
We gotta follow him? We're going away from the camp, but... We're full on the water. Wait, can we... Okay. We gotta follow this thing, right? What is this? Gather. You should remember. Alright. Alright. It is a fight. Let's go. Oh, you can... During online play? Okay, this is for online stuff. What is this? Like a rat with like a flower on it? So it wants us to build. Can we scale that and jump on him. Woo! Nicely done. So the crates are really useful. Oh, just broke all of it. Yeah. Come on, get up, get up on it. Get up on it. Broke all of our crates. All right, come on. That's it. Oh, 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 oh. we need water. We need water. Come on, come on, come on. Move, move. How come I don't see the health of it though? Like the monster. It wants us to stack more crates. Alright, give me some of this. Come on. Woo! Okay. Did somebody somebody joined? I'm not sure. But this is the online play stuff, but yeah, somebody is joining us. Uh oh. Oh, this guy is helping us big time. I don't I don't see the the health of the monster though, that's the thing. I'm not sure like how much they have how much they have left. Leaving so soon? Oh we gotta follow it. It's running. It's running away, we gotta follow it. I've got two people joined us, I think. Yeah. This is crazy. Like the health, the, that's no health. Uh, we need to regain consciousness. 
Looks like they put us out of conscious. Come on, come on. Are we doing this right? I'm not sure, like... Whoa! Come on! Is it dead? Do we need to do something here? Gotta follow it. Aside from the rocks and trees, I'm taking care of thread by wounding it. Okay. Gotta follow it. These guys are helping us. Oh my goodness. Come on. I'm honestly not sure if I'm even doing damage to this thing. Like, where's the health? It's not dying, man. Maybe I need to... Do we need to use the boxes? Do we have to use the boxes? That's not doing anything. Approach the Kavana, then use L2 to finish it. Okay. Wow, that took a long time, man. That was the first actual monster. It takes that long to hit, to kill it? God. I mean, these guys helped us too. Alright, so we got a lot of collectibles here. That's cool. Now you can conjure springs. Oh, okay, so now we can use these to return to camp from the map. Okay. Nice, okay. From the map, we can return back to our... How, how can we travel okay travel back nice but man that was crazy like that was that was it, there was no health it didn't have any health and uh you kind of just have to keep oh that that scared me i thought that was a monster you gotta keep just uh hitting it hit, and hitting it until it gives you that um uh that uh finishing option but yeah we're back at camp this girl that we found she looks like she's good so who are you let's talk to her hey we healed you you're a hunter? You must have saved me. Yeah, we did. How can I possibly repay you? I'd be dead by now if it wasn't for you. Sorry, I'm Natsume. A Natsume. blacksmith from Minato. Blacksmith. A small town just beyond here. Can I you help us improve our weapons? But I must have been knocked out when the kimono attacked. Hmm. That's the last I remember. We took care of it. Don't worry. I'm heading to Minato myself. Oh, yep. Really? I'd be glad to show you the way in that case. Only, well, a single look saves a hundred questions, as they say. Come with me. Hmm. What's up? Is there another monster? Man, what a beginning. There was a bridge there, you see? Linking the Harugasumi way here to the other side. Hmm. 
That's where Minato is. It must have collapsed with that big tremor before. I suppose it was the tremor that scared the kimono and made it jump out in front of us. Mm, interesting. This is bad. I have to find Ujishige san. Uh, that's who you were with, or let's make sure you're all right first. Uh, sure. Yes, that's right. He only came with me because I insisted. If the worst has happened, I... Wait. You're a hunter, though. So presumably you earn a living taking on hunting missions? Mm hmm Would you track down ujishige san for me? I'll do what I can to help as well, of course. All right. Arigato. I won't forget this. It was a Kohakunushi that attacked us. The Minato hunters call them sap scourge. They're always causing trouble. You'll need a decent weapon to take it on. But I might be able to help with that. That's what I was gonna say. We blacksmiths can't fight kimono. But give me a workbench and I'll hone any weapon you can throw at me. Nice. Very nice. So she can... So... Shall we head back to the camp? Gather our thoughts? Do we need to gather some materials for the weapon that we're gonna create or what? Interesting, okay. Alright, let's head back to camp. Oh, what is that? Gather? <coughs> Done. She's probably gonna give us a weapon. Okay, use the left arrow to eat food. You've managed to acquire. Eating will give you strength. The food that you eat has a variety of effects on your performance as a hunter. Each meal contributes to fullness. And when completely full, you can eat no more. Once the effects of food wear off, you must rest in a tent before you can have uh, your next meal. Okay, so what does that really improve our food? So health boost. Oh, interesting. So you have a health boost, wind boost, defense boost, uh, critical master. Interesting. Okay. I mean, we'll take a health boost. That's for sure. Oh, you can eat quite a bit. You can kind of stack them together as well. Okay. Nice. So you get like a health boost and that's cool. All right. All right, we'll return to camp. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything here I can use as a makeshift workbench. All right, uh, information. Types of uh, karakuri, karakuri. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. You can use the kimono orbs that you obtain by hunting kimono to awaken new types of karakuri. I'm definitely not saying that right. Or strengthen Karakuri you've already awakened. So it looks like uh, this is like a skill tree, huh? Knowledge of certain Karakuri cannot be awakened using Kimono Orbs. Instead, um, instead you need a flash of inspiration in the midst of hunting a particular Kimono or some other hunting success to unlock such Karakuri's secrets and conjure them for the first time okay so the basic ones here uh, the foundation of all kinds of karakuri and a means for hunters to scale steep walls of rock their strength in its simplicity and uh, it even comes in handy as a makeshift shield interesting okay so increase the cursor speed hmm all right, so it looks like this is like a, a skill tree. So we can do this one, which is a workbench. To make weapons and armors. And uh, so we can do that. Uh, how do we select this? Awaken this one. And then we also need to awaken this one, which is uh, a drying rack. A technique used for centuries to draw out the flavors in food. Hunters still like to carry a few okay of their favorites foods that have been left out in the sun so this is maybe it will help us with like um eating and getting more uh food and, and health and stuff out of our, our food 
Um, this one here, the mysterious energy that permeates all things to seek out kimono in the wilderness. It sends out pulses from the turret uh, and uses the echoes that return to chart that lay the land and locations of kimono. Okay, so this gives you the locations of the different monsters. All right, cool. All right, so is that all? So now we need to conjure a field or in the camp. Okay, so conjure. Uh, hold on. And then we need to do a workbench, right? Field forge, hunting tower, a field forge, which is like a working bench or a there we go. An amble out of thin air? That must be some sort of karakuri power. Yeah, we're magic. We're magicians, baby. Sugoi. Right. Now I have an amble. I can make myself useful. Luckily, the tools I brought with me weren't damaged. So all I need is materials. And then I should be able to make you a bow and arrow or sword or something. Nice. Uh, Probably not quite what you're used to, but I'm sure I can come up with something that suits. Um, could I maybe have a look at that karakuri katana of yours? I'd love to dismantle it and find out exactly how it works. <laughs> don't worry, I don't mean right now. First, we have to find Ujishige-san and a way back to Minato. Let's talk about it then. Yeah, I was gonna say, we need that. Okay, so ask her to do some forging. I'm a little limited in what I can do here, but I'll try my best to help Ujishige-san. Mm, so we have a, a weapon, an armor, or change equipment. Okay, let's see if we go with uh, this one here. Stronger and sharper. That's what you're looking for, I imagine. Yep, that is true. So what do we have to? So that's our uh, katana here. So we could do this one. Uh, what is this? So th this increases our like attack. Enhance the weapon, yes. And this one increases our... Where does this increase? Our critical hit? Alright, we'll add that as well. Nice. Oh, can we go further? Insufficient materials. Okay, so we need to gather some materials to get that. Um, I'm a little limited in what about armor. Have Can a think you... about which of my little ones you're most interested in. Hmm. So it looks like we don't have uh, material for any of that stuff here, so... This is the stuff that we have already equipped. Is this one better? No, let's not force this for now. This one looks better, so we'll forge that. We'll forge that. It looks also better. Okay. All right, looking good I'm so far. A limited in what I can... And this is what we have on. Interesting. I'm a little limited in what I... With some more materials, I could make you some very strong armor. Take on quests around the campfire, revisit hunts, and arrange uh, your equipment. All right. 
Sounds good. Um, I think this is it for the first episode, uh, just to check out the game and see what it, what it's all about. Um, it looks pretty cool. I mean, like I said, the graphics are not um, not the best, but the gameplay feels pretty, pretty nice. So um, thank you guys for watching. Please drop a like, subscribe if you haven't. I really like it, especially on the, on the first episode. Um, and I'll be sure to make uh, more of this. This is a, a new journey that we are uh, taking on here. Again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.